Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus and for Max Pro M1. So in this particular video, we'll see how to download and install the pre-decrypted stock ROM version 082, which is a Pi based. So as, as usual, like whenever a new update has been launched, I always uh, like look for this particular pre-decrypted version as well so that any user whosoever wants to try the same using TWRP custom recovery, uh, so they can use it or they can try it. So let's begin with this. So in this particular video, I won't be doing any review because for review part, it will take surely time. So in that particular case, uh, one can try this and they can also provide their valuable feedback. But I'll be touching few of the minor things like firstly, status of cam camera to API. So by default, the status of camera to API is legacy. So you can turn it on using fast boot drivers. You all aware about that. If you are not sure, then we can even provide you the URL or I would say you can search it on our YouTube channel. And a part of this, the status of wide one certification. So at my side, it is still showing me L3. So if someone will be getting L1, then do let us know that will surely be helping others as well. And one major thing is related to Wi-Fi calling. So by default, it is available for G uh, like by default, it is always available for Geo. But now you in this particular pre-decrypted ROM, it is also available for my Airtel same as well. And let me show you that as well. So by default, if I'll be going to sorry, uh, by going here. And now you can see that all those Airtel seems and if I'll click it here, you will see Wi-Fi calling and Wi-Fi calling available and so on. So although they have also shown uh, something like video call and so on, not sure it is working or not because even I haven't got a chance to uh, test it. But if someone will test, then do let us know. And a part of this, the very last thing uh, would be to show you that device is not certified. So you have to root your phone by installing magics and afterward magics hide and so on. We have already done plenty of videos on that as well and you can view that as well on our YouTube channel. So now we are good to go with the installation and downloading process. So let's move to that. So for that, let me open Chrome. So I've already created a dedicated article on my official blog. The URL for the same will be provided to you in the description below so that you can go over afterward. So nothing major has been mentioned. Same, same thing like provided by it's Amec who is handling uh, the developer who is behind Amec projects. So the very first link is for pre-decrypted Android 10 or uh, sorry, Android 9 stock ROM version 082. So there is no need to flash GF, just download it and keep in any external storage. Magix 20.4 optional, uh, again for I would say if you want to certify your device and this is a note from developer side, you can go over a part to this prerequisite or requirement like backup your data, charge your phone's battery to 50% or more. I recommend 80% bootloader should be unlocked. TWRP custom recovery should be installed. Afterward, finally the installation just move to TWRP recovery format data wipe cache Dalvik data and system vendor option uh, partition is optional. Then just flash this uh, downloaded uh, ROM and afterward reboot phone and last but not least uh, you will be able to enjoy the pre-decrypted Android 9 stock ROM version 4 I would say 0 a2 on your Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So now let me go to the TWRP recovery mode and initiate the installation process. So finally we have been booted to the TWRP recovery mode. Now we are good to go with the installation process. So according to blogs, you first have to tap on wipe afterward format data and just type on yes. And as soon as formatting would be completed, you just have to move back again. So just go back again back and this time you have to tap on advanced wipe and select four different partition. Those are Dalby cache data system vendor partition is optional. You can do it again. It will hardly take a minute to complete this uh, again. Go back again. Go back until unless you move to the home screen of TWRP. This time you have to select on install afterward select on storage then micro SD card. Okay. Afterward just move to the folder where have you downloaded that particular pre-decrypted file like in my case it is available here just tap it here and swipe to confirm flash so now it will take nearly about four to five minutes to complete the whole installation process and until unless it will complete let's wait till that time so finally the installation process has been completed now we are left with two options one is wipe cache dalvik and reboot system so i will recommend to do wipe cache dalvik so that it will delete all the junk files which have been created while this installation process now we are good to go with the reboot system so now it will take nearly about two to three minutes to invoke or i would say start the phone setup process so till then wait so finally the phone setup process has been started let's complete this as soon as possible now let me enter my wi-fi wi credentials 
so after successfully entering the wi-fi credential now we have been moved to the next screen here it is asking for or i would say checking for the updates for the google play services if there will be any uh, like minor or major payload it will be downloaded uh, and we will move to the next step that is copy apps and data so at the moment i'm just selecting don't copy now it is checking info then checking device info and so on so this is the major part either if you haven't set any pin pattern password then in that particular case it will be asking for the google account that was associated with your phone before flashing this room or any custom room so this should always be in your like i either handy either you have written somewhere and so on or either you should remember so let me enter this and proceed further so after successful verification and also uh, after setting up the google account now we have moved to the almost second last or last step so anything else no thanks adding the finishing touch maybe now it is asking from a securities point of view yes protect your phone so at this moment i'm just going to skip so setup is almost complete and now it will move to the home screen so now let me show you the bare bone structure or a default app structure which has been shipped with this particular room so all these app will be there so uh, this particular developer has already de-blotted de some of the apps like facebook instagram and so on so let me again verify you that we are on the same version we, uh, before which we were discussing so version number 082 android 9 uh, security patch of 5th may 2020 so this was all from my side uh, related to how to download and install the firmware version 082 pre-decrypted pre stock rom hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks